Hey guys, I recently had some difficulties searching in shops for an envelope that could fit one of my cards which had an unusual size. But I couldn't find what I needed so I proceeded to making my own envelope. In today's video I'm gonna share with you just that. How to make envelopes that can fit your unusual card sizes. Now let's get to work. The basic principle to keep in mind when making the envelope is that the size of your card will be your guideline. So on each side of your card, you will need to measure certain margins around it to make the envelope spacious enough to be the exact fit for your card. And you will also need to make some uh, additional flaps that will hold your envelope together. But I'm going to show you the whole process in just a little bit. So the first step is choosing a paper. I've only worked with the A4 size paper for all of my envelopes thus far. As an advice, I would say whenever you try to make your first envelope, don't start with your best paper. First try with a scrap piece of paper so that you can get the idea and then when you're ready, you can use the pretty one you had in mind. So you begin by measuring your card. My card is around 5.5 cm width and 15 cm length. I'm going to add an extra 6 mm on all sides as a margin. Everything will make sense as you watch the video and see the envelope come together. So do not be alarmed if you don't understand from the start. You will be able to see that it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. The final step is adding double-sided tape to glue the flaps and complete the envelope. I added a few tiny dots of glue to make sure these flaps stick well. So here it is, this is the finished look. Now I wanted to mention one last thing to keep in mind. Make sure the double-sided tape sticks in the right place when you fold the flap and close the envelope. As you can see on my envelope, I didn't do this step correctly and the tape will stick to the inside of the envelope. The right way to do it is like you see here. The tape should stick on the outside of the envelope. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. In a nutshell, remember to first measure your card correctly and then add those margins on all sides and the flaps on the left and right side. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day and see you next time!